All right, everybody up. We're going to play Simon Says. Simon Says, touch your toes. Simon Says, touch your nose. Touch your knees. You're out. I didn't say Simon Says. Simon Says, hands on hips. Simon Says, puck your lips. <laughs> You're out. Simon didn't say to take your hands on your hips. Simon Says, sit down. Simon Says, stand up. Simon Says, spin around. Simon Says, don't get dizzy. Simon Says, don't get sick. Stop your feet. I didn't say Simon Says. By day, bustling with business, lemonade business. But the lemonade game is a tough game. Not everyone plays by the rules. For now, it's midnight, and terror strikes. Here's a message from El Capo. <laughs> Come on, that's enough. Let's get out of here. Even the light of day can't stop the merciless attack. Can no one avenge these wrongs? Where are Elliot Nest and the Unmentionables? Shh! Shoo! You're blowing my cover! Come on, get out of here! Ah! Elliot Nest! Give up, you filthy scum! We'll be back, Nest. You haven't heard the last of Al Capone's gang. I can't be out of ammo already. I'll take a glass of lemonade. Sure, Mr. Nest. You sure were terrific back there. Thanks. Oh, hope you like it. Oh, this stuff is terrible. Sour. Seeds. What's going on here? I'm so sorry. Today must be a bad bitch. Here, I'll give you a nickel back. I think there's dirty business going on here. Whatever could you mean by that? This tastes like Al Capow's bathtub lemonade. That's what it is, isn't it? <clears throat> I'm being forced to sell it. It's a juice racket. Al Capow, huh? If that big cheese thinks he's moving in on my neighborhood, he's got the wrong idea. <sighs> Unmentionables, we've got a problem. Anybody got any ideas how to catch Al Kapow? It's my experience that when one wants to catch crumbs, they contact a pigeon. I take your meaning. I'll talk to Stu Pigeon, the stool pigeon. What makes you think I have anything to say? Everybody knows you'll trade secrets for bread, especially crusty bread. Yeah, what do you got to offer? Pumpernickel. Pumpernickel, I'll talk. Here's the deal. Al Capow's head man, Frank Nutty, is the enforcer of the lemonade racket. Follow him, and you're sure to find a still. A still what? A lemonade still. I still don't know where to find him. 
Nutty still lives with his parents. All you do is stake out his house, follow him, and he's sure to lead you to the big cheese, El Capao himself. Good. We haven't had a stake out in a long time. This is the best stake out in a long time. I think he's coming out. There he is. There's Nutty. And stay away from the party mix. The bad bunch of nuts. I got you, baby. I mean, mother. Looky, Robert. There go the unmentionables. Shh. There he goes. Now listen to me, Elliot, and hear me good. Don't bust a bathtub still unless you're willing to get soap in your eyes. I'm willing. Let's do some good. What's that stuff? It's the secret ingredient that makes my lemonade sour at half the price. Vinegar. <laughs> Open up. This is a bust. You're not going anywhere. Look! Kapow's getting away! Yeah, 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 yeah. I won't be humiliated like this. I want that Elliot Ness guy rubbed out. I know a masseuse who gives a good rub down. Masseuse? I don't want you to massage him. I want you to finish him. Understand? I want his bike smashed, I want his treehouse wrecked, I want his baseball cots torn up, I want his comic books burned. Get it? Uh, got it. Good. Go get him. Either we have a serious termite problem or... Timber! trying to put the squeeze on me, I'm not impressed. Don't worry, you'll be impressed soon. Okay, boys. You're under arrest, Kapow. If you don't give up, it's going to be naps. Bed at six o'clock, double homework the whole nine yards. I won't go back to taking naps. See that hole? When I say the word, duck down and go with the flow. Now! A sour ending for the unmentionables. Not so fast, Kapow. Get down! We'll see who gets who! You stay with them. I'm going after the big cheese. You can't touch me once I cross the border. I have to catch him before he climbs over the fence and gets out of the neighborhood. Munch my dust, unmentionables! Stop now and I'll go easy on you. I'm top banana around here, Nest. Whoa. Whoa. I'll be back, sucker! Well, it looks like he beat us. Get your foot out of my house! Who said that? Hey, not me! I did! You don't want me in your house, do you? Likewise, I don't want you in mine. Most certainly not. Wait a second. Do you like cheese? Cheese? Nobody stops the big cheese. <laughs> you dirty rats. Unmentionables, you gotta save me. Cheese! This is the place. Hello, Albert. Who are your friends? These are the unmentionables. Well, if they're unmentionable, then how come you're mentioning them? The fact is, we're bringing your son to justice. Justice? What kind of trouble are you in? We'll tell you all about it over a glass of lemonade. <laughs> so you see, Mr. and Mrs. Kapow, 
Little Al has been a very bad boy. Oh. We're shocked, Albert. Just for that, you're going to be aged. Aged? Grounded. And if you don't shape up, young man, you're going to end up sliced, grated, processed, pasteurized, and maybe even stuck in little cellophane wrappers. <laughs> Thank you. Don't mention it. Vicky, are you taking your bath? Kids, have you ever wished you could be two places at once? Well, now you can with the fake rubber blow up kid. <sighs> Asleep already. See what a hot bath will do before bedtime? So lifelike, you'll fool your own mother. And now it's time for a garbage pail groaner. Mm. Aha! Sneaking cookies, I caught you red handed, right? Huh? My hand's not red! I told you so. I've got a special Lacey Valentine's card just for you, Kit. You shouldn't have wasted your time. Aren't you giving me a Valentine's card? I didn't get anybody a Valentine's card. I hate Valentine's Day. It's mushy and yucky. That's telling her, Kit. Here, happy Valentine's Day anyway. Boys! Patty, wait! This is what I think of Valentine's Day! Come on, let's get to school! Oh, they hate Valentine's Day, huh? On Valentine's Day? Don't be silly. What about the tests we failed? What tests? There'll be no more tests ever. This is even weirder than Kit. Yeah, but this could be good. Recess early. Go exchange Valentines. Good morning, Mr. Mellow. Happy Valentine's Day. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, happy Valentine's Day, Mrs. Gallagher. This might not be so great after all. Oh, isn't Kid a dream? You win. I lost so I could be with you. Are you calling me a liar? I said it was in. And I said it was out. Oh, Kid, do something. Okay, for you. about yeah it's only a game yuck now I really can't look oh you are wonderful kit aren't you overdoing it a bit you're just jealous me jealous of what of me and kit is it love for and not between those two it isn't how can you even think that I'd be jealous of you and Kit when I'm in love with Kit? He's mine! <gasps> Look at that! Patty and Terry are fighting over Kit. We better do something! Yeah, I don't know what Terry sees in him. He's head over heels in love. Isn't it wonderful? Everyone's in love. Yuck! Let go of him! You let go of him! I saw him first! What do you want with him, Terry? I want to be your valentine. Whoa! 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 Ah! I'm sorry, Elliot, but my heart belongs to Kit. <laughs> Ain't love grand! Now it's your turn! <laughs> My turn for what? You did this, didn't you? Now it's my turn. Oh! <laughs> You'll never catch me! Go find your own girl, Dwayne. You don't understand. This isn't you. It's that Cupid. Yeah, Cupid. It's Valentine's Day. Ain't love grand. Love, Elliot. Sorry, Elliot. I'm already kids. <sighs> hmm. I'll show her. Kit. Huh? Patty? What are you doing over there? Class? Hello, Mr. Mellow. Very funny, class. Melvin? Hilda? Be my Valentine, Melvin. Mrs. Gallagher, get a grip on yourself. Come on, Melvin. Fuck her up. Please, Mrs. Gallagher, not in front of the children. <laughs> There's no escaping through love, Melvin. <laughs> now then, where were we? We were teaching class. Rats! Excuse me. P pardon me. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Pardon me. I've got you now. Gotcha! She loves me. She loves me not. Elliot, pull yourself together. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. He's under my power. 
and he's in love. <laughs> I'm gonna make everyone fall in love. Please be my Love? It's this heartless Cupid! Oh, dry up, Dwayne! <sighs> Terry, Terry, Terry. No, mine! You're mine! Well, that's it. I've done my job. Everyone's in love. You call this love? What are you going to do? Well, if I shoot them again, they'll go back to normal. Then what are you waiting for? What am I doing? Who kissed you? You kissed me. Never mind. You better get out of here before everyone realizes what happened and who did it. Right. Thanks. And happy Valentine's Day. Kit. What? Didn't you mean any of those things you said about me being your Valentine? Uh... I've got to go. I'll call you later, Patty. <clears throat> if you tell anyone I said this, I'll deny it. Roses are red, violets are blue. I still hate Valentine's Day, but I like you. He likes me! Today's Garbage Pail Award goes to the Neighborhood Grouch. First, he complains that you play too loud. You stepped on the line. Did not. You kids are making too much noise. Then he complains on Halloween. Trick or treat. There's no treats here. Take your racket someplace else. So, today's award goes to the Neighborhood Grouch for solving his own problems. Yeah.